Hi everyone, welcome. welcome back. This is Muriel and I'm here to share with you tags six and seven. I don't have a um, tutorial on them, but they were so easy and simple to make that I'm sure if you did want to try them, you would have no problem. So did I say six and seven? I think I, I, think I just have six, there is no seven. My bad, yeah, don't haven't started seven yet, so we'll go with six. And six was a tag that uh, was inspired by an old, um, kind of a vintage tag that I found over on Pinterest, since that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. So I thought about pulling out this paper pad from Tim Holtz Ideology. It's called Christmas uh, Noel. It's eight by eight papers. I like to say they're masculine, but you know, they have that uh, vintage look about them and I've used it not a lot because it's still pretty much like a full paper pad is pretty beat up but I did use all of the um, pages to make these tags so let me show you so here's the tag very simple very very simple and everything in on this tag is from my stash. So I had these for uh, several years. These tags were purchased at Target Dollar Spot many years ago. I've used them last year and probably the year before. And I went into my tag box and I realized I still had, oh, I don't know, 20 of them. So I found this um, uh, image on Pinterest and I thought, you know what, this'll work. So you see the tag here, how kind of sort of boring it is. And I'll show you what I did. I started first by changing the top here. I didn't want the hole. So I covered it up with this sticker. And this sticker is from Hobby Lobby Stickabilities. They're just holly leaves and berries. Looks like this. It comes with 26 pieces. And these are the larger ones. I tried to use all the smaller ones um, that I could. If you want it, you could maybe cut one in half. But... But that's what I did. Here's like the single one. So I covered up the hole with that. The next thing I did on this area where the red stripe is, I had in my stash, again, some stickers. And you can see this sticker here says, ho, ho, ho. Um, some of them said many different things. So if you have um, epoxy stickers that are small and clear, you could use that. I think one of them I had had a postage, and I'm just gonna, gonna pull, go through these and show you. Here's one that had a postage kind of look, just like the ho-ho-ho, but it has a Christmas um, reference on it. Uh, let's see, here's one, two. And I, unfortunately, I threw the packaging away. I'm so sorry. I sh it didn't have a packaging on it. It was just in a plastic bag, so I couldn't tell you. And then that one said Santa. So I kind of thought, okay, well, for that person who says, I want to use something like that, I, um, but I don't have the epoxy stickers. Um, this one here, let me show you this. I kind of put something else in here. You probably can't tell, but this sheet, oh no, no, it's all the same. You can see the Merry Christmas at the bottom here. The word Merry Christmas. That's part of this sheet here. And maybe this year Hobby Lobby will have something different. But basically anything you want it to use to cover up this hole. And again, as far as this area here, I found in my stash, and you may have the same thing, a small postage stamp. Right? That's really small that you could just stamp on that to make it look like it's been... <laughs> stamped, received uh, at the North Pole. And then um, I kept going. I uh, mounted it on some black um, glitter paper. And then I put it on top of the paper from Tim Holtz. The beauty with this paper is the background is the back is already, um, it's double sided, right? So it, so it worked out. And then I used a, uh, again, the glitter paper for the reinforcement sticker. And then finally, I did this with some paint. I took a paintbrush and I dipped it in some um, white, uh, some white paint. And I just flicked 
the brushes and it just splattered all over. So I definitely wanted that look. Some splattered more than others. Some didn't splatter enough. Um, here's a sticker that's a little bit larger. It said, Hello Santa. This one says, All Through the House. This one says, More Jolly. And I changed the paper. This one has green polka dot. This is green, olive green pinstriped. And then I had some red. That one just has a heart. So it's kind of whatever. Then I used the heart to cover the hole. There's another one. This says, this is December. And then the twine that I'm using is, um, oh, from here. <sighs> this may be a recollections, I'm not sure, but you can see it's um, pretty thick, kind of a candy stripe twine. So I made a ton of these because I wanted to use up all of the cards. That one says naughty and nice under the tree. Jingle more. Remember December. Jolly Holly Jolly. And then that one says love. So that is tag number six. Like I said, very, very easy to make. Definitely using things from your stash. If you have in your stash some epoxy stickers, that would work too. Like these are epoxy stickers here. They're quite large, but there is a very small one there that is a snowflake. That would do. So it depends. Whatever you have, whatever you choose to do. So that is tag number six. And then I switched and did some cards. Just two cards. So let me show you what I did again, inspired by uh, something on Crate Paper's website. I am using um, Mary Day's paper pad, which is right here. Okay, so here is the card. <clears throat> I think this is a four by six card. It comes from a pack of... Um, cards and stuff. I tried to sell it with my friend when I was selling all her stuff and I couldn't get anyone to buy the uh, D-stash. So these, this is the card blanks and then these were the envelopes. So I basically used that. So here is the card. So it was already made. Glory. Hallelujah. Um, so I just cut the paper on top and then in my stash, you know, I've been working with a lot of the die cuts that I have. Uh, these two houses um, I'm using a uh, Holiday Wishes sticker from Merry Days, a chipboard piece of a uh, some twigs, and then this is from this sticker sheet here. Someone had asked me about this. Oh, I didn't take this medicine. Let me take this medicine, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I took one. I didn't take the other one. Okay, sorry about that. Someone had asked me about some gold um, scallop trim that I had on one of my tags. And it's basically from this set here. And I had my dear friend, Ro uh, Roseanne. Hi, Roseanne. She, uh, I sent her a picture and she said, oh yeah, that's from the Merry Days um, sticker pack. It is uh, American Craft, put it out. Um, it was under the thickers category and it's the collection is joyous. That's joyous. Yes, that's what this says and you only get, you know What you see here and a few more there were a couple of more stars that I uh, snowflakes that I use and then you got that scallop trim and that's what um, The person was asking me about where did you get the scallop trim from? and the scallop trim she is referencing I got tags everywhere, you guys. Everywhere is right here. This gold scallop trim. So they only gave you a piece, probably like that big, and I just been using it like that, like a little piece here and a little piece there. So when I ran out, I said, hmm, what else could I use? So here's the other piece you can see. So you don't get a lot. Um, I pulled out one of my scallop punches and some gold paper and I cut out my own so and they look like what you saw on the tag number five 
there it is right there. So, you know, you just got to work with what you have if whatever for, for whatever look you're trying to achieve. So, back to the card. Move this all over. Um, I used the deer from this collection here. And I just put a red bow on the deer's neck. And then this is a chipboard piece from the chipboard pack. Again, here I am using the scalloped um, cutout that I did. And then this here, I've had these for a while. These are from Merry Days as well. They are called pine branches. And they're really um, soft and um, bendable. And, you know, you can do whatever you want with this. You can hide that part. So that's what I thought I would do is I kind of hid it behind the tree, behind the house, and just have it sticking out there. So that's the card. That's all I did. I haven't done the inside. I haven't done the backside. I just thought I'll... Um, I just love this collection. And again, I'm just trying to use what I have. And here is the second one. So with this one here, again, same card base, but the first layer is a sheet of this paper from Park Lane, this beautiful gold, um, has this really pretty image. It looks almost like um, floral or damask. So I cut that down, glued that on, and then I glued the paper on top. Again, this is paper from the Mary Days. Um, I am using these cute little wreaths. They are from Snow and Coco as well. They are called adhesive wreaths. And I thought I bought them over. Oh, here they are. <coughs> they look like that. Okay, so I glued that down. I'm using the Cohen uh, Snow and Cocoa Star. You can see I did glue down a um, doily just to kind of give the images and all the stuff on top of it kind of grounded. And you see I just have a house with the tree. I put my little, oh my God, I love the little um, chimney smoke coming out of the chimney. Uh, the word holly is across the street, across the tree with another sticker, holly wishes, holiday wishes. And then I have a car down at the bottom. So that's it. And then this um, wreath comes with these little gold um, little dots. I pulled some of those off and kind of put them around the wreath as well. So that's going to be that card. Like I said, I'm two cards in, I think. Think. Yeah, I don't think I have any, yeah, anymore. So I'm happy about that. And I do have some other um, images that I've been looking at. And I have so many stickers that I want to uh, find a good use, a good card to make using stickers because that's not my favorite. I kind of like a little bulk. And, you know, with the postage going up, I know these are going to cost me like $4 to mail. But these may be ones that I just hand out to. Um, family members so so there you go you guys that is my two cards I've made and my um, bag of tags <laughs> let's see here let's pull, pull some out here I hope you try them if you have any questions please don't hesitate to just leave them down below and I certainly will respond to you any of the products you want to know um, again the name or where I picked it up from I'm more than happy to share that with you as well I wish I did go online and I was looking to see if I can find more of this and I just couldn't. I checked Amazon, I checked um, scrapbook.com, but there may be some other avenues um, where you can find this and hopefully they'll come out with uh, something new this year. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you again for watching my Christmas in July series. Um, I do have more tags that I'm going to be making. Um, I'll be off next Monday, so that'll be good. I'll be able to just get on here and just uh, do lots more, especially during the weekend. I still am making my bows um, for our craft fair in October. I just want to make sure that I'm satisfying whatever needs people have in terms of their color. You know, I have red and green and cream and vintage and um, wintry and 
papers that look like the Alps and papers that look like um, an old time vintage. So yeah, just a whole lot. So I'm trying to keep up with that and make sure that I can satisfy everyone's um, palette in terms of colors. So thank you again. Please leave me a comment down below. And until my next video, you guys take care. Bye now.